Hey, position to Earth Spirit. Let's go. The Opage Earth Spirit. All right, so are there any lanes that we should keep our eyes out here for for First Blood? Anything that you feel like is going to be a rougher matchup between the two teams? Mm. Oh, bo it's bottom lane. Might be. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I said in the draft, the, the Bane set up for the, uh, for the Blood Right is uh, a cool combo. All right, here we go. First rotation. Beautiful board, though. Scouting it out. But in your dream, still... Is it fast enough rotation? It looks like it might be. Die, they've got no extra reinforcements. And in your dream, will just slowly be brought down. Polison's looking for some retribution before he dies. But it's still nonetheless going to be two kills here for, for Boom. So that ward, I thought, might have been enough to keep the Medusa alive. But... We'll get to that after the uh, second gank attempt up on this top side again. Radiant Pudge able to get all the way up here, completely train him out of mana. Valkyrie is going to be there to play a little bit more defensively. And honestly, you're somewhat happy with this if you're uh, your Pudge, right? Like, sure, Alacrity gets a kill, Wait. but it means that he can't be looking to get aggressive. <laughs> Surely not. In your dream, they don't find him. <laughs> FBZ popped his ultimate. To try and attempt the kill, he might still get Polis on out of it. It's yeah, just coming, taking though. a lot of use here there of the he ship ship now. <laughs> he'll pop out, and as soon as he does, he'll explode. Yeah. Alacrity's the target. He's got a decent Jeez. amount of one charges to play with. Alacrity knows the limit on the hero. He'll dodge the roll. Doesn't have any Rex to reinforcements now, and Yopaj can continue the tick with the Magnetize. Yes, you sidestep, but it looks like the Earth Spirit will win the battle between the brothers. They just get away as well. Yeah, talking about knowing the limitations, but unfortunately, even though he had the extra Fire Remnant available, just not having the mana needed to cast it. And they're taking a bit of a stack. This, uh, this boob lineup as well. Oh, Palos. Looks like they'll be penalized here for trying to take the stack of the hard camp. Comes for you. CTM might also be chased on. Mizu's got about half duration left of the ultimate, but Yokam doesn't really have as much mobility as what the Night Stalker does. Oh, my costume. Right back on in. Just missing on their camp there. Actually looking a little bit vulnerable. Not Although the Nightmare so providing that little bit of extra save. Oh man, Yopaj has got 4.4 strength gain. Already 1500 yep. health. Imagine going through an Earth Spirit at 9 minutes into the game. You can kill the Bane. He doesn't have that survivability. Big issues is though, is these long drawn out fights means that Pelos, they're so weak. The Thirst is just looking to clean up, looking to answer in the name of blood. But he can't lock onto Alacrity, so he has to try and deal with Yokam. But you can chase him down with ease. Alacrity though. Doesn't have any more remnants, so they'll block off the retreat angle to the triangle. It's not going to make it that much more difficult for an escape route here from the Ember, and... Oh, Palace is just going to give up, however. I mean, it's a thousand net worth lead for Boom. Do you feel like they're going to get to a stage soon where they can look to grow this lead? Are they waiting for any items or, or level timing shortly? I mean, it's got to be the Helm of the Overlord, right? FBZ, he's had a very good start to the game, and he's only 600 gold away. Who are they going for? CTM by the Roche Pit. I've got Alacrity converging on the back line. We can try and bar bypass any supports. We can deal with CTM. Yokam still got the Rubik's Cube in the arsenal. They're trying to avoid Yopaj. They'll clean off both supports successfully. Now a beautiful Echo Storm means that Yokam can just bounce back and forth and they'll clean off Yopaj. They'll turn next to try and deal with FBZ. But he's soloing down in your dream at the moment. Still has the Stone Gaze to give himself some distance, so. What was looking like a pretty solid fight for Galaxy Racer at the start still ends up being a, a three for three, but poor old FBZ. The shapeshift's expired. He's going to attempt the TP up, but the chains is still on cooldown, so he'll be fortunate enough. You know, eventually get to the high ground, just wait it out for a few seconds, and then maybe get a Fiend's Grip to make the fight go even further in Boom's favor. But still, even though he got picked off for basically free at the start of that, he uh, still has a decent impact, but now no Dark Ascension, no night time for a minute. They're looking to immediately Oh, go in your and dream. Catching your dream here. It's the target. Really close to the tier 2 tower. The Ooh, Jesus, the damage! In your dream, he was full healthful mana, but uh, he's still at the stage where he's just not survivable at all. They might get some retribution. 
Looks like once again, the support to going to be the main objective here from Galaxy Racer to try and bring them back into this. So still a nightmare. We'll give them some space, but Alacrity has got no remnants and, and forced to stand his ground into the rupture. They're still doing a decent job to trade you know, battle versus battle and blow over blow, but they're unable to do so as Palos can just clean up. They even get the uh, the nightmare stolen in onto Palos, so could they be looking to set this up? Oh, they're even going to get the stone gaze to guarantee that he gets locked down with all that extra physical damage coming in onto him. Is this a save coming through from Yopaj, though? Oh, I don't think it will be. Still a lot of damage. Yopaj's got a lot of health to play with. He's also got now the numbers coming through as Playhard out of nowhere will show up and FBZ with a shapeshift two. Stack up another death for In Your Dream. He's up to four now on the tally. They might look for Mizu as well as even though it's nighttime, but FBZ can just sniff him out and Back towards the bottom side. I mean, I suppose it's night time. You want to try and eliminate Nightstalker off the map as much as possible. You know he doesn't have the TP available. But, uh, get the Nightmare onto him for a lot of this team fight. Actually, they're going to turn on him. Okay, Galaxy Racer. Again, close to the T1 towers. The reinforcements are coming through. Alacrity. He's coming so clutchy in these fights, man. They just don't have the control to deal with him. You give him this hero and he'll show off drastically. A double for the Ember. He'll be able to turn to kill off FBZ. And they're not done just yet. CTM, the next on the chopping board. Four down. No one falls misery. They even smoked the kid for life, man. Galaxy Racer. What a fight. Who do you want to give the ages to? Palos, more than likely? We saw there how much damage she took. And of course, that's because of the mana drain on top of things. You know, every half second, you're going to be draining 5% of Deuce's max mana. Holy sun. Very nice way to oh, oh, might even be able to catch him here. Oh, no, they got... Oh, they got Mizu and the Dusa. There's no way to cancel the ultimate. So in your dream once again, another death for him. Mizu on the high ground. They might even look to turn it on your cam. It's a small wolf. Has he got the movement speed? He should still tick out to the spirit vessel. And they would have been so happy with just losing the ET there, but somehow, boom, catch up more heroes. That they're going to be able to get, you know, the easy cleanup onto the easy hero. But, you know, it's very rare in Dota these days, especially once you've already taken out the tier one tower and you're on the back foot, that uh, you're going to just be completely Wait, away from the team fight. Oh, Alacrity. Man, what a use of the Mant, the uh, Illusion Rune, actually. He used the Nightmare on himself. Sans, is it going to be long enough to be able to get the Chain Kitch? Oh, Alacrity. Just a remnant. And he's out of there, but still Yopai's looking to hunt on point. And that is a big kill to find. Three times streak, and Alacrity's been the biggest issue for them so far on Boom. I mean, this is a treat, just watching Yopage and Alacrity going blow for blow every single time. You know, 17 kill involvements for Yopage, 15 for Alacrity. Perfect location. Now, Standing Mizu. up there, but that's a good way to get vision. Just this Bloodseeker answer to the, the Night Stalker. We've really seen the, the impact has been dwindled because of the counter pick and the game just continuing to get difficult. I mean, you're really hoping for In Your Dream to get to a stage where he can be this even though Medusa doesn't have the greatest items, Ember too, just with the constant spam from afar. So, Galaxy Racer, we'll, we'll see if they can play into that. But they're, they're looking yeah, for Palos. Here he can jump in. See if they can get the Stone Gaze connection. They can bring him down before the BKB. Yopage, kick away. What Is this enough? They bring him down. And now Yopage has put himself in a costly position. He too will not make it. So Galaxy Racer, man, somehow always see these team have crafty ways to bring themselves back in games. I mean, that item fill is super hit or miss right now. Uh, so I don't know if we see uh, Lincoln's on, on the Night Stalker. Maybe Mizu could think about... The Siege does not get easy, though. Like, in your dream, it really needs that level 20, but Skadi completed. Apollo's going to be really cautious of how he plays. That's the target they want to bring down. He's so much of their high ground defense. They'll target through the Elder Titan. Deuce is the next on the chopping board here. They're draining the mana. The health is about to fall as well. Do so, it gets no assistance as Mizu can't get in the fight because of the rupture. They know he's off to the eastern side. They're going to kick him away, just trying to get the full synergy out. Now that it's daytime, Mizu 
It's the Thunder Eye that's looking to chase him down. Palos now, all the thirst stacking up. I'll clean off the Night Stalker and Polis on. Ooh, nice actual play from Yokam. So the Bloodseek is exceptionally deep here. A little bit disorienting for someone that was always so used against a mid Earth Spirit to have that extra damage, but. Still going to be a good fallen. amount of tower pressure being put onto you. Still not going to be any kind of Dark Ascension. Might be forced to buy back here on the Night Stalker in about 10 seconds. Oh, Polo again. They continue to recognize the importance of the Elder Titan. Kick back further away for the defense of the Tier 4 towers. Alacrity's trying to do whatever he can. They have a way to be able to go through the BKB. So the Bane will fall. They've dealt with the Aegis. Meanwhile, off to the northern side. Again, another Nightmare to set up for the Stone Gaze, but Palace, nice use of the Micro here from the Light King, can reset out. They still turn to Stone, but it's enough time wasted and a better position for Palace to be turned. Because now they're actually just back on top of the Medusa, man, Medusa! Just again getting ripped apart. Palace is doing so much damage with the Arganum Shard, but maybe they've overplayed their welcome. It's deep behind the T4 tower. Palos can't get down to the low ground. The buyback's coming into play. They've also stolen the blood right. He's such a difficult person to go through, though. Even though the BKB is on cooldown, he's got the assistance of two heroes nearby and Galaxy Racer. They just can't get anything more out of it. Uh, he had to pick up that plate mail just to be able to have any kind of sustain in the middle of that team fight, but it's probably not going to be enough. I mean, dude, Aghanim Shard on Bloodseeker is an incredible ability. Pure damage, percent as well as CTM. Again, the target. Alacrity's going to be so careful. I try and do a decent amount of damage, cutting up the fight, but this is just Mega Creeps, FBZ. He doesn't care about the heroes, going to turn to deal with the objectives. So they've got Mega Creeps on the table now, in your dream. Looking to try and punish them for their positioning as... FBZ might just sacrifice his life. He's going to try and run into Yo Camp, nope. but... Wow. They they can't even kill him, so it looks like it's just Bane. But still... Is it? Is it even Bane? CTM? Is he able to keep the life? As well. And now a long roll in from Yo Parge will try and target back, Not kick so back Mizu from the defense of the higher ground, and that's the gem as well no. that's going to be dropped on the deck. No. <laughs> A buyback here, 70 seconds. Now in your dream. It's not the hero they want to try and bring down. They'll just target the secondary support for Galaxy Racer. They did an exceptional job to stem out the bleeding, but in the end, the Bloodseeker will always find the blood and so will boom. See, I told you it wasn't a good deuce again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. But uh, a lot of that, like, it, it wasn't on the vein. Like, I feel CTM, he was in good position, you know, like I mentioned before in that key team fight around the mid lane. I really lacks team fight, lacks catch, and setup. I like Boom. I said as soon as the Bloodseeker was picked up, I'm favoring the Bloodseeker, so yeah, I'm, I'm Boom. Bloodseeker's not there. I believe he was aiming both for Yopaj. Still doesn't have level six as well. Yeah, she steps back up and with the step first tick blood. out, Alacrity will pick up first blood. He, we saw we saw the puck played a couple of times through the start of like the I League group stages. It was played the very start. We might be in trouble because he used the orb to push out the lane and the instant punish is coming through. Alacrity with the incentive of Yokam. That's uh, the second kill in a row. But of lane though, Spears sets up for the Monkey King. FBZ, uh, a beautiful way to be able to help bring down In Your Dream with the assistance of both supports. I think maybe if you had level 6 on the Pango, you could consider it, but... Yeah, they're coming. things are at the moment. Smoke's gonna pop from play hard, so... He'll give the valuable information, and... Looks like they've still cleaned off one of the waves. FBZ might just drop Arena blindly. This is the Spear. But they, they stop coming down bottom, so in your James gonna have to rely on the TP from Alacrity, but the rest of the team are actually finally looking to connect. Haven't seen the first use of the coil. Yopai is just the target for Alacrity. They don't bring him down through the initial onslaught of spells, and Alacrity, oh man, what an old threat from Mizu. Will clean off the Mirana and does so much damage that it just forces Boom to, to think twice if they want to continue with this engagement. It is, but now that it's hit night time, they've got a little bit less vision. They're feeling, I suppose, somewhat confident around uh, the ward that they've placed up now in Galaxy Racer. They're looking to make some more aggressive plays. They've caught out the Mars. 
They will end up cutting down the tree for me in your dream, but it's not going to matter. So just put all their emphasis on getting rid of the team fight prowess from FBZ. Now, who can they turn their attention to? Yes. The coil is preventing the damage fall up afterwards, but it looks like the nightmare will set up for the control. And boom, losing out two here in the river fight. It's you speak about combos. It's nice that Galaxy Racer have some of their own like combo breakers with the nightmare, with the astral imprisonment. So it might give them really okay. Top boom, are actually looking to contest this side of the map. As Hollison's just going to be the sacrifice. FBZ looking to see if he can catch out any stragglers, but won't find anyone. Just trying to make himself live for as long as possible. There was uh was Polison. I like that he has to be a little bit careful here, but in the meantime, they could clean up CTM. Really intrigued to see... Oh, uh, okay, in your dream. They catch him out. Pre-BKB, that is a huge kill. So incredibly farmed he is right now. There's no opportunity for escape, even though with uh, a two-man boundless like that, so... He's going into the BKB this time around, so realizing that you do need to be in a decent spot to actually get off your full combo against this more aggressive lineup. Oh, you're okay. Oh. They found a couple of trees that they could pin him to after the spear. Somehow he actually still keeps his life. Meanwhile, mid lane, Polis and Alacrity. Radiance a backstab coming through, but instantly Dyer going to answer. With a TP from Yopies, they can cancel the Fiend's group. Palacen, BKB pop. They've missed the combo. Mizu so far away from the team. So they're able to target down the outwards of our and a complete waste on the Wukongs along with the BKB. So really not the fight they were looking for from Galaxy Racer. Maybe Yokam can clean up, but still they've got no combo to pair with all this stun lock that the Rolling Thunder can provide, and Alacrity's in trouble. This is a big streak if they can find it, lacking the stuns in your dream. Still going back on four, but he's going to be careful with the BKB expiring. They'll chunk through him. The magical damage now showing up as Boom will find three. They might be able to make it a fourth, but going this deep behind the tier three towers is not on the cards. So even just his placement of the blood rights, not even just for the damage all the time, Radiant's but uh, to provide a little bit of an extra layer of protection to his supports on the back line. And it's got to be said as well, man. The fact that Yopage is second in net worth is incredible. Hold that thought. Both supports on Galaxy Racer. Maybe thinking their triangle was free. Mizu's going to jump in. He misses the Astral defensively. And now he's going to be punished here. His execration just surround him, boom, surround him. But a huge boundless from In Your Dream. Your camp can fall up and bounce back off the secret shop. In Your Dream looking to continue with the man fire, but the BKP pop, the FBZ is just using the arena as defensively as possible, but it's the Bloodseeker once again. It's his show, and his show only for the team fight. Just charging in forward, looking to clean up as best as he can. He'll tear down the monkey afterwards and make it a five-man wipe. He had that in the arsenal, and my god, it's not an easy hero to learn, and not just for yourself, but for your team as well. Like, you really need the chemistry as a two, and the fact that Palos and CTM already have it, and they've got to set up a down bot. Opies, the coil. They have any extra Ooh, chain right locked down. Alacrity, nice play with the Yules. He doesn't get full distance out of the Astral Sep, so they can still... Chase him down. This might give an opportunity from Radiant to cut out some heroes solo top, but play hard. He's actually going to find Bane alone. Monkey King was uh, just a little bit away. The arena, I think, cut down the tree. So Monkey can't get the damage into the moment. He's going to jump in straight inside the arena thanks to the long duration timer. They just lock him in place, but boom. Cutting off the retreat. They'll target down Bane. Can they find anyone throughout the western tree line? They're still hunting further and further down. Looks like Yokam with the target here. Fortunately, doesn't have kind of as much mobility as what the Monkey King does. Gonna be careful to lead them towards In Your Dream. Or maybe he's just looking to bait. I just can't wait to CTI where we get to see the likes of some of the global position two players and how they could flex the, the Monkey King. You know, of course, Thompson always comes to mind as boom. Looking to continue to control the map. It's been all the Yopai show as well, however, after the laning stages, he'll dodge the rolling thunder. Get out of this. It's just uh, another one as Mizu won't fall. Oh, sorry, Mizu won't get away and Yokam won't either. Uh, not the timing he would be hoping for, but nonetheless, the itemization. We'll see if this can you know, help them bring themselves back into uh, into game two. Uh, Mizu? Oh, they caught out the OD down bot. 
This is what we were speaking about in the draft, man. The fact that you have multiple heroes on the map, like all three from Boom can set up. Makes it so difficult now to, to play the map on Galaxy Racer. You, you really have to be in and out as quick as possible. Another arena being used. And they've able to hit in your dream okay, with it. Got the Fiend's crew. Oh. There you go, Pudge. That's right. a big streak as well. 857 gold for in your dream. Hadn't even considered it for the longest stage, but... Now feels like he's well and truly slotted where he can go into this. Honestly, Inc I feel like there is uh, the, the Bloodseeker. Hold that thought down. Bot Alacrity. But he's used all his ultimate charge. He's going to go back in and try and clean off Yopage, but uh, he had no escape. I just hope for the kill. Do whatever you can, but... Quint combined together with a Waning Rift cooldown that you get at level 20. You know, just a 7 second cooldown with a 4.25 second uh, silence. That seems pretty balanced. They're going to try and start on the Bloodseeker. Instantly, oh, boom. They answer the call. The Aegis just, just ticking out, but it's not going to matter as the backline gets obliterated. The God's Rebuke will smash down the heads of the Outward Devourer and Palos is still alive to live the tale as yes yeah, you'll clean off the eye yes yeah, you'll clean off the marana but that's just two supports where boom they don't care about them i mean what, what do you do beyond that you're so susceptible if you're the one getting jumped and it's very single target focused outside of your ultimate cooldown kind of weird positioning coming through from him here they should be able to catch him and yeah <laughs> the blink away it's still getting caught though that is the dieback i mean galaxy racer have Along with Boom, but Galaxy Racer have great ways to take a team fight around a choke point. So maybe with a, a high ground siege, they can get hopeful with a, a strong Wukong set up as well. Speaking about the potential of the Wukong, Shopage, that psychic headband to, to pop the coil there, a, a cute way to start into the relocate, man. Shopage is just, he's styling on the boys now. Mm -hmm. It's a little silly, to be honest, the fact that you're able to just. Burst down uh, position one on your own. Enemy. And they've got the burst to go through FBZ. It's a decent streak to, to clean off and they're lacking the detection for play hard. Or at least the follow up, in fact, they've just split away. They didn't opt to use the dust, which I thought was a little odd there on the Pangalia. Black, ready? Can he offer any assistance? Looks nice like he's just going to have to hope to keep him alive for as long as possible with yours, but Yopaj has, has got that damage. Just instantly throwing his uh, his Radiant's body in the way there to make sure the puck wasn't the one getting. Oh, Bloodsy gets there. in trouble. Fiend's grip and sanities. That's the burst to bring him down. Now they look to set up with the Astral, but again, play hard. Great positioning from him. He's got an answer. It's not going to matter as the eye will still fall. So Radiant, they mount some defense here. Give it over in your dream. Just one shotting it with your Q. Seems balanced. Is uh. Osfrog, one of the best emotes there is around. I mean, it's it's up there. It's, it's I'm, I'm always been a, a big Kappa fan. As they yeah. get another engagement onto Mizu, again pre BKB. What what can you do against it? I'm like, hang on, what's going on here? I'm like, so he'll get it now. <laughs> after goes down. Like, what am I missing, dude? Is he just? Is there no point going for it? Like, what am I? It's just a. I was like, hang on, what's going on, dude? Is this I like... better not say, I don't want to sound stupid, <laughs> why? Oh my, like, dude, I'm really trying to rack my brain here. <laughs> I like what the thought process is. All right, uh, execration, boom. Trying to lead up the high gun. to chain lock him down, otherwise the rupture gets off. And, well, Complete with the anyway. yules. But CTM found the strike, doesn't give them opportunity to reset, but it gives him a lot of fresh health to play with. And... The old execration position one HP. is just, like you said, back to full HP. Where are the rest of the boys? That's what I want to know. Well, they're coming through. Maybe this long Astral can set up FBZ. He's got the timing. Pinpoint accuracy with the arrow as well. And in your dreams, you're going to look to pounce in. They want to try and target down CTM. They'll grab rid of the Ball of Light, which does have a buyback and relocate if the fight further breaks out. In a look to do so now, here comes a relocate plus one. We saw how he could do just the survivability to keep Palos alive and now back involved. They don't have the damage, it looks like. You're fully reliant on the buybacks, but unfortunately, in your dream, he doesn't have it available. They're cutting the fight in half as Alacrity. He's trying to suffocate the backline here. Palos is a bit split at the moment. 
wasn't sent back to base as the eye was brought down, but I mean, he, he doesn't care. He's got ages. Still got so much to work with. Alacrity, though, once again. He, gem on the deck, doesn't have the time to pick it up. Palos is going to lose the first life. Renan on cooldown. So they're going to try and charge up the Meteor Hammer. They get the connection. Is the BKB available? It's still on cooldown. In fact, the chain lockdown. Palos is so survivable, though. The blink into the arrow on Mizzou. It might cost him his life. However, the chain control loads up once again. They'll bring him down and die back here for the OD. Now, Palos, he can go to work. He'll rip apart Yokan. They've got the voice lines to give them the power. Alacrity, the next off the chopping card. He's going to actually try and go for Mirana. He won't be able to bring him down from four to zero. Yes, he's got a buyback. He's looking to do whatever he can to keep them afloat, but... One of the other big differences that we saw with the Bane in uh, game one versus now is that when the Arena of Blood was dropped, uh, Nightmare wasn't used to be able to save him. So there was no disengage used to uh, to try and Radiant's counter things out there. Force the buyback to be used and they were able to get the clean up. Instant BKB. I don't know about this. Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, oh. well, he's going to TP out. They're going to cancel well, play hard. Oh. He puts himself in a very difficult position. Even go punch as well. But I'd say your dreams in a more difficult position. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir, indeed. Boom, they don't care about none of these deep objectives. Uh, it's all an alacrity. We saw how he could play the last fight, just getting up in the face, being a big nuisance. But five heroes on Boom, man, and they might just make it more of a, a strength in numbers as well as boom the oh, they're gonna look to buy back here they got already up in a couple seconds it'll lack it's just getting chunked down <laughs> oh my god i here cam look at all you turn revert back even just sidestep they've got the initial stun but as soon as they find the connection they just have to try and retreat back to safety the chain lockdown is just not prevalent right now from Galaxy Racer, and it looks like it's going to cost the Megas. And I mean, 30 seconds until the Monkey King's up, they're going to have to go through uh, quite the deficit to keep themselves afloat. And now with the initial stun, is there any follow up here? Alacrity, Abyssal Blades out. Got a way to counteract any extra follow up at the moment, but still with the silence instantly answered afterwards. A die back here for your Void Spirit. <laughs> Poor old Yokem as well. Boom! Yet to see these boys play with the new roster, with how much casting we've been doing, but they are looking on another level, man. This was a treat to watch. They are quite the roster. Yeah, for sure. There's a, a lot of trust. There's a lot of synergy coming through the drafting, and clearly, like we've seen before, the uh, they're not one-trick ponies. You know, they might be going for a fair bit of the IO, but we know that CTM. He's not someone that just rests on his laurels with one or two hero picks. He wants to be as versatile as possible, constantly in his pubs, trying out new things and...